previously on Zach's Walking Highlights, you'd have to cross that river. No signs at all for this. They should warn you to bring welly, shouldn't they? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. Yeah, foot's in the water, foot's in the water again, foot's in the water again. No, I'm going back, sod it. Foot's completely soaked. No, there's no point going across there to get your feet wet. Today I'm off to Collerton in Devon, which is close to the border of Dorset. I'll be starting in the village here, taking this footpath along the river Collie, and then going over to this footpath here, and then going back all the way to Collerton. So join me on my walk to see how I get on. Well, here, here we are, we're in Collerton. We've got to go this way to the footpath next to the river Collie. There we go, there's the river Collie. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, as you, can, you might be able to gather, it is raining today. There you go. It's coming down quite a bit. But we've got to go this way. There you go, look, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, not a great day. Glad I'm wearing my wellies actually today. And there's reasons for that. Because I'm going to be crossing that river Collie at that point that I turn round on. I'm certainly equipped today for it. So this is what I look like today as the rain comes down. Got my tripod there. And of course I've got my rucksack on my right arm. Problem is a lot of the time the hood comes off you have to keep putting it back on but yeah there we go well got a little bit of um, cover here so I thought I'd just give you a bit more information there's the river Collie it makes sense to call it the river Collie doesn't it because of Collerton the name um, but yeah so the river Co Collie has its source above Farway, being joined by the Unborn Brook at Collerton, from where it flows to join the Axe at Collerford at the south end of the parish. And a bit of information about Collerton itself. Over the centuries, tradesmen had improved and maintained a wide range of skills, ensuring the town was fully independent. For example, the records of 1838 show a remarkable list in the town. Here we go. Market traders, farmers, millers, butchers, bakers, shoemakers, coopers, couriers, druggist, a fishing rod maker, glove maker, tanner, gunsmith, linen drapers, foundry, maltzers, brewers, innkeepers, milliners, saddlers and harness makers, rope and twine maker, stone masons, surgeons, barbers, tin plate worker, 
watchmaker and a wheelwright. Amazing, isn't it? What I'm really hoping is that this walk has a bit of cover under trees, just because it's because of the weather. It looks like we've got some cover there, which I'm happy to see. And it looks like we've got quite a trendy bench there, doesn't it? Not just a wooden bench. But yeah, we're getting some cover, which is great. The river looks really wide here, doesn't it? Well, we're back out now, actually, then. That didn't last long, did it? Back out to the rain, put the hood back up. So that's come down, I took it off. See, we're seeing those signs again for the Devon, East Devon Way. Well, we've got some cattle coming up here. It's nice, isn't it? No, but as I've said before, when you go through a field of cattle, you know, give them space and just pass them um, calmly and everything will be okay. You won't spook them. I mean, this one's coming out a little bit, but of course you can still give them the space. There we go. No problem at all. And of course these two knew the rain was coming, didn't they? And the others are just under the tree. Yeah, very uh, sensible. Well, there's some real pleasant parts of the river along here, as you can see from that. And it really, it really um, distracts your um, mind off like the rain when you see things like that. You forget it's raining. Get a few muddy bits like that, but yeah, no, not really a problem. It's straight. It, it, it feels strange wearing wellies for a, a change, but at the same time, I feel like I'm wearing the right appropriate footwear for today obviously especially what's coming up soon so we've just come to a, a bridge and there you go East Devon Way linked to beer so five miles eight, well, eight kilometers five miles if you wanted to go that way as well so you've got the choice well, it really opens up here doesn't it Wow, look at that. The breadth of that, the, the, the width. And a sort of narrow path along the side here. But there's a bench, and you can imagine on a nice day, or even like now, you could, undercover, you could just enjoy being in the outdoors, couldn't you? There's the view. Well, another re reason why I'm glad I brought me wellies with, because we've got to go down here in this mud. And this little stream running into the river, so there we go. Of course you can do in walking boots, but yeah, it's just nice to have wellies on for a change. Obviously they're not going to be as um, supportive as walking boots. But with like thicker socks, that does help, which is obviously what I've got on today, of course. I was on the line of footpath and I was just looking around to see where there would be a gate because we've got, um, there's a bridge over there. But yeah, there we go, look, there's a gate. Yeah, not too bad so far. Right. Oh, a little, a little miniature bridge, look. Well, 
not a bad view and then got the water there. There we go, the surrounding um, scenes. Well, there's plenty of signs on that bridge. It's nice to have a little view up looking over the river, but we need to go this way according to the footpath map, so we'll carry on this way. Oh. Right, another bridge. I think it's time for another sip of water under some shelter. Obviously, you need to abide by um, what you're told there. Well, I don't mind go along closer to the river because there's a bit more shelter there, isn't there? So a little bit more about Collerton. So today there remains a narrow and fascinating street pattern together with a wealth of old and listed buildings. The last remaining oak bark tannery in the country thrives despite modern competition to produce some of the finest finished leather hides. The town takes pride in its traditional wheelwright who has gained a royal warrant and works by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. A wide and interesting range of challenges from carriage to cannon keeps the workshop fully employed. Despite the rain, I'm not absolutely like with the jeans. It's just the, the rain's just spotty there. And I suppose a lot of it's just getting hit. The rain's hitting the waterproof. So yeah, we're going along the side of the field and just trying to get a bit of shelter as we go. But let me say, it really is, it is nice walking in the rain. It makes you feel good. And I'm sure it's good for mental health as well. Well, that's an unusual little uh, gate, isn't it? It's just a bit of wood. Well, it's just a door, isn't it, really? Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Okay, and we've got another field of cattle on this one. It's a bit wet round here. Whoops, yeah. And... Uh, just be careful you don't trip there, which I did. Um, or slid down off the bridge. You can see another arrow down here. Well, when we thought there was quite a few bridges on the last walk, there's definitely a lot more bridges on this one. Small ones, not particularly like big ones, but just ones that are going past some uh, like sort of like a stream or, or or maybe possibly boggy ground between two fields they've put they put bridges out which which is really helpful so yeah I'm impressed with the way it's been the path has been supported by that oh lovely we're going into the woods for a minute for not long, I, for how long I have no idea, but yeah, it is coming down and the waterproof is doing its job. But oh, it's nice just to come in here for a moment. And there's the river, Collie. You can, maybe you can hear it coming down quite heavy on the trees there. From above you can see it lashing down over there but I'm feeling good and it's the sort of feeling you get when you come out in this and these wellies yeah right we're nearly where we want to be 
and then we'll get to where that river crossing is. Oh, there you go, look, that's good, isn't it? Would you believe it? A pheasant again. So, that's the third time now, isn't it, in a row we've seen them. Right, another bridge. See, look, a little bridge over like a, look, you know, through a hedge row. And these little doors. First time I've seen them on this one. Please close the gate. Yeah, I always do that, don't worry. Right. Well, the sun is trying to come out, but the rain is in charge at the moment. Nice to see that blue sky, isn't it? Well, these lovely little flowers right next to the river. Really nice. And the river, oh, um, pheasant. Um, yeah, the river Collie really um, does change in all sorts of size on the way when you're walking. One minute it's really wide, next minute it's quite um, small and, <clears throat> excuse me, and narrow. Feels like a different day now. It's still spitting but we're coming up to Hamber Lane Cross, it's called. And then we'll go on to the last uh, part, footpath that will be where that river crossing is. I don't think there's much at this, where we are now, to be honest. These are really great. I'm really impressed with what they've done here. And I think it might be because it is part of East Devon Way. But no, I'm really impressed with this. Right, we've got to go this way. You see some more cattle. That one in the middle was like, well, I'm not convinced it's over yet, so I'm staying sitting down. Right, so we're nearly at the other footpath. We do need to go left this way, apparently, according to the footpath map. Oh, it's nice to take the, uh, the hood off. And uh, it seems like it's going to be turning into a better day. We've got to go down this footpath. And there again is that river. So let's do it. Not too long on this and then we'll be going back. So yeah, just to remind you, this is the footpath that I would have completed. You know, back to the road there. If I had cross this river which I'm going to be doing today. Looks like I've got to cross something first here though. No problem in the wellies. Right. So the crossing will be coming up very soon. Well I've definitely lost count of how many bridges I've been across today. I would say it's probably in double figures by now. Oh, it's, it's like change of terrain, isn't it? Long grass. Looks like it's marshy, but it isn't. It's just a bit wet from all the rain on this path. Well, I didn't think I'd say it today, but I've unzipped my waterproof. And uh, as it's getting warm and sunny we never know I'm not going to say the r word but it might not hopefully it won't but it's good because the waterproof's drying off and my trousers are drying off a bit too they weren't too wet anyway so all these sheep were waiting for me here or something knowing that i'm going to do the water crossing you know they're like oh look he's arrived right we're all going to go down and watch I don't want an audience. Um, yeah, we're really not far away from it now, apparently. 
right it's just coming up so I'm gonna put both my straps over both my shoulders on my rucksack there it is and about what was it about a week ago we were over that other side and then we went we turned around right just get everything comfortable on the back look how uh, it looks quite deep doesn't it right here we go folks right in that door we've got the wellies on of course haven't we so down these steps Oh, right, okay. I'm going to try and go like along there, not on those stones there. Let's have a look. Right, no rush here, is there? Oh, yeah, that is deep. Oh, right. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, you can you can feel the current a little bit on your feet in your boots. Oh. Right. We're sort of halfway there, I think, or over halfway. There we go. There we go. There we are. There we go. Done. Brilliant. We'll come up here. And there we have it. Oh. That's been, there's a bit of wire going along there. So it looks like I might not have been able to go through here um, if I went uh, like this time last week. Right, we've got to go back. Let's do it. So we basically have connected up with last time's path by doing that from um, Church Green. Okay, here we go. So you feel the current going that way with your boots a little bit. Well, these wellies have been fantastic. I haven't felt any water in my socks at all. Uh, I don't think flip-flops would be ideal if you did this. You'd have to hold on to them tightly in your, with your feet. And I think then it would be very, a bit, uh, you know, could, you could slip over in them. There we go, done. So there it is, the River Collie. We've gone over it and back. Right, let's go back and uh, yeah, get back to the car. Well, yeah, really chuffed that I've come back to do that river crossing and um, yeah, when you do things like that, it's, it's very rewarding. It really is. So yeah, definitely deserves a pat on the back for that, for efforts like you do on your adventures. And now it's coming back down again, the rain. So the hood's coming back up. And uh, yeah, we'll continue. Well, it's certainly coming down again now and that sunshine didn't last long at all but what was good though is the waterproof had time to to dry out and now it's ready for the next hit of the rain in terms of the comfortableness of the wellies um, not too bad at all really maybe the the big toe underneath feels a little bit rubbing a little bit but 
I wouldn't say it's any issue that I'm concerned about. So I'm quite happy with how things are going with the wellies today. But it's not like I'm going to wear them on a regular basis, just really was for today. What I did do is I brought my, I did bring my walking boots and they're, they're in my rucksack. Can't see it from that angle, but yeah, no, they're in the rucksack. I brought them just in case if um, my feet were getting a bit sore wearing the wellies at any point, I could just swap them over. I've got a bag in their rucksack as well, so I wouldn't mind carrying the wellies. I'd rather have comfortable feet and have to carry something with me. So yeah, I made sure that I was definitely prepared for today's events. There you go. There's some coverage of what the rain's like at the moment. It's really lashing it down. And uh, yeah, I'm getting quite, quite soaked. The jeans aren't like drenched, it's the waterproof. But yeah, not the nicest um, weather, but there we go. It's all part of, a, of the walking experience. You're gonna get it sometimes. And some, and, and again, like I said earlier, it's quite a nice feeling being walking in the rain in some, in some respects, yeah, really coming down. Just, just trying to get a bit of shelter as we go along back. We got some, but not a lot. Yeah, the heaviest it's, the heaviest it's been on this walk at the moment. And look, look, those clouds have really come, come in. Yeah, the, the jeans are getting, they are getting wet properly now. And I'm under cover for a minute, but I'll show you. Yeah, just got the cord tied up around there so it doesn't come off. But yeah, it's, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty savage at the minute, but we've got to carry on through here and then we're doing good. We're doing good. We're, we're getting there. And uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of shelter as we go along. This is how look, you can see on the... Really is coming down. Really is coming down. Because of the, the heavy rain, you can see, I'm sure this river's gone up a little bit. Now I've got to go over this bit here, actually, which was a bit muddy. Oh, it looks fine. Yeah, look, everyone's feeling a bit washed out. So, definitely not on my own. Yeah, no one's very impressed with the weather conditions of today, are they? Well, the wet, the rain has briefly stopped. So we've got a bit of respite, which is nice. I've got my, uh, the hood is off again from my head. And we're nearly back to the car now, so not far away. And there we go. The bridge over into Collerton, over the river Colley. There we go, the tannery, the garden shop. And there's a cafe there if you want your, want a nice hot drink. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm ready to get into the, the nice warm car. Oh, it feels nice to take those wellies off and sit down in the car, nice and warm. I did 9.51 kilometers in the end. Um, so yeah, happy with that and really glad that I tackled the uh, River Collie um, to get to the other side and, you know, connect the path up with the last time I came out from Church Green. Well, I'm looking forward to getting nice and dry at home. So uh, anyway, thank you for joining us. Take care, stay safe. 
and join me for another walking journey very soon. And it's bye-bye from me in Collerton.